Uh, let's talk about Russell Wilson because, look, I, I haven't watched a ton of Seahawks th- this year, but I watched them Monday night against Washington, fully expecting them to win. And watching watching Russell Wilson was like, what happened to you? He looks like a totally different person. One thing I noticed is he was really inaccurate. He was Very missing throws high. by wide margins. I've never seen him do that. There's got to be something up with his finger that he messed up, right? Yeah, so where he grips the ball, where he normally has that beautiful spin on the laces, yeah, the speed of the spin is not there. It just nope. doesn't seem like he's gripping the bar and, and torquing it the same way he normally does. So when he goes to pass it, it's just coming out. It seems like it's coming out early or something like that. Like he's not able to maintain his, his control through the pass because he's going high and he's mm-hmm. throwing deep. Like he's, he's ahead and high on his receivers. It's not Russell Wilson at all. He looks miserable. I mean, he, he, it was terrible. That was a, I turned that game off. Literally, after halftime, I'm like, I'm not staying up for this. I also feel that the issue with the offense is, I mean, obviously injuries, right? Like no running backs, no offensive linemen. But also this offensive coordinator that they got from the Rams, Shane Waldron, who had never called a play before, damn, he sucks. Awful. He really Can't does. get the ball to DK Metcalf. Can't really do anything. There's nothing that offense does well. And you have a Hall of Fame quarterback who's younger than me. You freaking suck, Shane Waldron. Sorry. I would agree. And this this – I never like to throw dirt at the the other teams or anything like that, but you bring this up. I can literally say there are tons of fans in the faithful that could call a better game because everybody knows who DK Metcalf is and they would just be like, well, throw him the ball, throw him the ball. It's like having Debo Samuel and not giving him the ball. How do you not call his number like every four or five plays? Imagine the race that the faithful would have if Debo was out there and got three or four targets and no handoffs. Yeah, I don't understand. It must be going soft up in Seattle. Let that let that slide. Anyway. You know, Sherman said it. And, like, Sherman's one of my favorite players. I know he's very controversial the way he talks to people and things like that. Kind of wish he wouldn't do that. But one of the things he said, he threw some shade after he left Seattle. And he said that the stories and the antics of Pete Carroll wear off. He tells the same story 250 times. And when you're new, he seems charming. He seems like a great leader. But you just realize he doesn't have a big bag of tricks. That's what Sherman said. Earl Thomas was quiet, but Earl Thomas did nothing to despair that. And it just seems like Russell Wilson's dysfunction in this offseason comes from ownership and the coaches. So I just feel like Pete Carroll does not have a handle on these Seahawks the way he has in the past. And for instance, if you're Pete Carroll, how can you let your offensive coordinator not call plays to DK Metcalf? I don't know. I understand good leadership is letting your people work, but not if they keep failing. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, now, it's possible that Russell Wilson's finger will feel magically better this week and he'll play better because I don't think he forgot how to play football. I don't think he's sandbagging it in Seattle. I think his finger's messed up and he Absolutely. rushed no, back Russell to try Wilson's to save the season. going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. There's nothing wrong with his abilities. There's something physically in his way. I'm just not used to seeing him lose. I mean, I think he's never – has he ever – won fewer than 10 games. He might have had one nine and seven season. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he had where where they did not make the playoffs, I think. Yeah. 